Hello guys, today is another practice in paint and I wanna to talk to you about fabric paint today and um, mostly painting on fabric. So this is called pen design and you might've seen packets where this whole print slides under the shirt and you use an Identa pen and we have Identa pens with a large point and a small point. Now, Identa pen is different than Sharpie. They're permanent markers, but a Sharpie fades when we wash it. So as, as my experience. So what I do is I draw them all out. I'm gonna show you. I have it on some kind of cardboard or I, I cover a piece of cardboard with press and seal or foil or something. And then I clip it on, so I wanna show you. I clip it on, this is after I've traced a pattern, okay? So I slide the pattern right underneath and you can see through. And if you can't see through, you can hang the shirt with uh, like wax paper or something inside uh, against a window and the light will show through, especially on like a sweatshirt material or whatever. Or you can take my patterns and you can lay them on top with graphite paper, like on denim and stuff that you can't see through and you can trace on top of the pattern and get just the outline. You don't need all this fine detail, but you do need the outline. So what I was going to share with you is I'll put one more here so you can freehand or use color book designs or whatever, but I have lots of designs for you to be able to do this. So what I would do is I can sit here and do another design here. I'll do a part of a bud that will match this. And this is on the back of the t-shirt. I come in here and I do the center and then I can come out here and do a couple of these petals that are gonna be leaning out this way. All right, so I just wanna get the shape. And so you can see that the marker I used on that was not a fresh marker. We sell these markers, they're great for what we're doing. And we also have them in different colors, a set of colors. And if you don't want the black outline, you could use the colors or browns and blues and different colors. All right, so this is on the back of my shirt for a demonstration, all right? This is just, I want you to use a blend. Any blend is better than the 100% cotton because the paint stays better and it looks crisper for longer. And it is also a little bit easier to paint on. Now I'm, I took just these binder clips and I pull them tight, but you can get any kind of clips or T pins or whatever. And I'm not gonna do this whole thing. I just wanna share with you. Now we have fabric paint and so it's fabric inks or you can use your acrylic paint when you start out. I just made a mess. Okay, in the double loader and the fabric paints run a little bit. So if you're in these dividers, it keeps it from making a mess, okay? But today I wanted to show you how to use textile medium and I'm gonna have a whole show on mediums, okay? so you understand, but so it's white and milky right now, but this will keep it soft. The fabric inks are already soft. They're wonderful soft. That's what I painted the front with. Now on this one, you have to pull out your pattern from underneath and I have a full length how to on YouTube here on painting on fabric. So please go check that out. I show you exactly how to put the uh, everything underneath and get it all ready for you. But if you want, especially on a pillow or something, you want special colors, a pillow that doesn't get washed much, um, you can just use um, this with your acrylics. But I want you to know that these fabric inks stay soft and it feels just like the shirt. You can wash it and you can, I can dry it inside outwards. But um, if you hand wash it lots of times, you should, um, hang it to dry. All right. Just remember that. All right. But I've washed and dried my shirts many, many times. They just last longer. So I put medium on the brush and then I just picked up the acrylic. So I just want you to see that I can decide to come in here. This is my 12 flat and just fill in here. Okay. And I want some darker back here. Now I don't want to paint it on with a ton of paint. 
I want it to get a watercolor effect. So see, I'm going between these petals. Now, if I, I just want to show you a quick little demo. If I put too much and it looks painted, like I've done pumpkins or whatever in that big area, looks painted, I can lay a paper towel on here and take off some, see? Take it off and get it to as more transparent. All right, so then I can also mix some white with, this is, um, you can use a magenta. This is keepsake rose. You have more colors if you use some acrylic sometime. So see, I'm just going to come in here and do, with lots of medium, do the tips. Now, what I use medium with a lot is so this moves because we don't want to use water. All right. So I just want to show you that I can then come in with more medium and a little bit of this Juneberry. That's Juneberry I put in the middle. All right. And I can come up in here. Look right here, darker right in there. All right. And get some pretty colors. I want to come back and, and do some of this later. I just want to show you that's what we're looking for. All right. So see, now I'll show you the last step as soon as I finish this one with you. I want you to see that I can get some of dioxazine purple and wicker white and get more of a purple color. All right. So I mix the two colors. Now I'm going to get medium and I'm going to come in here. Okay, so I'm going to go around. The medium helps it move. Stay a little bit away from the outside edge in case it bleeds a little bit because it's so thin. Okay, and I show you other tips and tricks on the full length how-to. So you want to go check those out too. So it's kind of like... Um, those little uh, watercolor books that you just wet your paintbrush when you, the kids play with. And then they, when they wet the color book, it, there's colors there that come alive when you put water on them. So, or these are like the adult coloring books kind of where you're filling it in. Okay, so I've got that there. Now I can take some medium on here and then pick up some purple. All right, this is called pen design. I want you to practice this. I have so many pen design um, videos on my onestroke.com plus I have whole fabric um, teaching all kinds of fabric tricks. And also guys, on YouTube here, like I said, you can go I have a kit that we've sold on HSN that um, that might still be available if you go check it out. It's got all the paints and brushes and everything in there as a set at really good prices. There you go. Now see how I got depth in there? Now all I'm going to do now is pick up a little bit of that yellow. And we can put yellow, pounce it in there a little bit. Okay, I'm going to be careful not to pick up the purple. And I can put a teeny bit of green at the bottom here so I get depth. All right, so let's look one more thing before we go. I'm going to take and put some green in here. And it's you're going for like a watercolor effect. I do. You could decide to do it darker than that or heavier than that. And you can stroke both uh, double load and stroke on fabric, but you have to stroke a little bit different because it won't let you push down and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Now I can show you, I can pick up both. I can dip medium, I can work it in, dip medium, work it in. Okay, so let's see, I can come here, push down and slide. And you got to go back over it a few times. Okay. All right. So you can get the same look. But either way, we're going for 
a fun look, go check out a one store.com for the paints. And you can use my regular brushes. And you can then, when you're all done, I did a pens are there too. When you're all done, I want you to see, let's turn it over again. Now the last step that I didn't do on all of these is I come back in here and you can see where I started this. But I'm gonna come back in here and I can come and clean up where the paint covered my lines. I wouldn't do it to all of them, but you could do it to a few of these and get that look that's clean. Like these petals come on top. So you're just following the pattern that we originally put down. That's why I'm saying sometimes you don't want to put all of the pattern because you can go back later and add it. All right. So listen, you two can do this and you don't have to know strokes. You're just filling it out. See, like when I get extra color, I can go right. If I bleed out, I can go right back and pick it up. Look right in here. See how I can come in there and add more to cover where I went too big right in here. Look, I can go back on top, back on top and make it all fill in and be a pretty shirt, wash and dry. Enjoy wearing and say, where'd you get that shirt? And you can say, I made it. You match capris or anything that you want to wear with your shirts. You can paint a little bit on denim jeans. Okay, was that fun? So I want to see some fabric painting out there. Do some and let me see. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, and look, we even have glitter, fantasy glitter in the line of fabric, but you need to do that on top of dry paint. And then you need to take an iron and heat set it. All of that's in my fabric video. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.